Back to the Future was a film that helped define the 1980s and made Michael J. Fox a star. More hit movies followed, as did a string of awards for his TV series like Spin City. Now, though, his future's increasingly defined by Parkinson's disease. As soon as I wake up, I can't go back to sleep. I mean, it starts going. So, so I, I would say that's the toughest part in the morning is, is to kind of go, well, I'm up whether I like it or not, I'm up now. And the other thing that happens to me in the morning, first thing is I get that d dystonia, which is kind of cramping, and it can be very extreme. In a rare interview on ABC, he spoke about the new challenges from something as simple as using a toothbrush. Because I have to put the brush down on the countertop, hold it flat, and get the brushes on, because if I hold it, I'm, I'll miss it. It's a moving target. But anyway, once I get it all loaded up, then I just kind of bring it up to my mouth and then just let it go. Remarkably, he also revealed that ice skating appears to temporarily block his symptoms, but only while he keeps moving. There's no cure for Parkinson's, but Michael J. Fox has been fighting to change that. He's gone from actor to activist, campaigning for politicians backing stem cell research, which might offer hope to Parkinson's sufferers. Millions have seen the powerful TV campaign he made a few years ago. They say all politics is local, but it's not always the case. What you do in Missouri matters to millions of Americans, Americans like me. Michael J. Fox returns to ABC with an inspiration. He devotes much of his life now to raising awareness about Parkinson's. And after many years off the big screen, he says he still watches his old life on the small screen. Uh, at any given moment, I can flip through the channel and see myself. And, and for a long time, it was just like I stumbled on an infomercial or something and just keep clicking. But now, every now and then, I, I, I will stop and watch a little bit, and I'll just enjoy it. I'll just enjoy it for, for, for what it is and the time it was in my life. And, and I don't have any... There's no wistfulness in it. There's no longing in it. Richard Lister, BBC News, Washington. Very honest, extraordinarily brave. Very candid. Mm. Yeah, Michael J. Fox there speaking about uh, Parkinson's.